is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 18 Ultimate Team Game. Today we're debuting the rookie phenom Deshaun Watson at the quarterback position for our team. He takes a sack on the very first play, second play, sacked again. Both times he came unblocked up the middle so quickly we could barely even notice before we were on the ground. And on third down and 23, I just had to make sure we didn't get called for a safety at that point. Ran the ball, conservative play call, punt the ball on fourth down and you know, already he's in field goal range, dumping it down to Calvin Johnson. He's got Deshaun Watson at the quarterback position on his team as well as he rolls throws. And that is an incompletion because Ray Lewis demolished that poor man. Third down, Watson squeezing and completing to Megatron. You definitely want to find the 6'5", former Lions receiver at all times as Watson loses the ball. Watson coughs it up and Ed Reed's on the recovery for our squad. And Ed Reed still going and finally brought down by Watson himself, the man who coughed up the pigskin. And there he just got too greedy. He tried to make a play with Watson and sometimes you just got to accept defeat and slide down because you can't take too many hits with a quarterback from, you know, Ray Lewis and the likes of those kind of players. Third down the blitz again, but this time we're ready for it. Finding Barry Sanders and Barry getting the first down and then some. This guy's showing a tendency from the very jump of the game to send the house, blitzing everyone. And a lot of times when people blitz the house, that means that the running back will be wide open. So we'll keep an eye on that as we go downfield to Megatron for the touchdown. He tried to press in. You can't really press Calvin Johnson because he's just too big, too fast, and too strong for that. Each the full package is Megatron, man, as Watson looking on first down, and that was a tight completion once again. He's just squeezing these passes in. We'll see how long he can keep it up on that front as he comes out passing on second down. This time, though, he's going to take off with the Sean. Oh, don't take a hit again, man. Kind of did it right there. Not too big of a hit, but he's risking it as third down. That's the Wildcat with Barry. Close, but not a first down. Now, fourth down and one. You really need this conversion. He's got it with Barry Sanders. Takes a big hit from Mac right there, but he got what he wanted. The first down, and now he comes right back to the stretch, and it works again. I mean, that's what Madden 18 is all about. You run some stretch, you run some wham, you run some tight end angle. You guys know the deal if you played Madden 18 online. But this guy, for the most part, was mixing up his play calls. He was calling different plays all the time. And, I mean, that sometimes it can bite you. You can run too many play calls, and it can knock you out of a rhythm. Sometimes, though, when you're quicking, you're quicking. I mean, when you have a wide open man downfield, you can definitely quick all day long, which is what happened right there. Calvin Johnson opened for the touchdown, and that was... Really us just blowing our coverage with Calvin Johnson at free safety. I was using got a little bit too cute. Tried to jump like a crossing route and left him wide open. So we got to make sure we don't give him any layups right there. Because I felt like we're doing a good job of making him work on the defensive end. But... You know, you can't just give up wide open people because he's probably going to lose in that situation. We got a minute 10 left to try to make something happen. He sends the blitz, but instead of getting sacked, Deshaun Watson gets his fifth completion in five tries. Looking middle again, dumping it down to Gonzalez. A nice Q gain at three, but with 51 seconds left, not exactly what we need because time is not on our side. Watson flushed out. Look at the mobility and the playmaking ability of the rookie Deshaun Watson. 95 overall this time a pitch to Barry Sanders and Barry getting out of bounds only one timeout left so we got to make sure we can get out of bounds whenever we can Watson looking and taking off a lateral to the offensive lineman that was easy a lateral attempt to Barry Sanders who's on my right side but I did not go as expected as Watson is sacked I tried to throw it off the back foot right there I mean I didn't try to throw it off the back foot but Watson was going off his back foot anyways which delayed the throw I think I was trying to hit Randy Moss right there I would have not been too big of a game but would have not been a sack at the same time so third down we got a little bit fortunate right there that, that ball was swatted because if we got tackled inbounds then we might have not gone the field goal on that possession. Would have been close. We had to like rush to the line of scrimmage. We'd probably be able to get it off, but still. Risky decision, and it would definitely be a risky decision if he tried to throw that screen. I don't know if he wanted to, because he was trying to throw the ball just now on that play when it got knocked incomplete as Watson getting away from Clowney, delivering it off the back foot, but gonna be tackling on the final play of the first half. So yeah, just a you know a little weird end to that first half right there. But at the end of the day, we got three points. We were guaranteed three points when we got into field goal range. That gives us the lead. Now he has to play from behind to start the second half we'll see if we can get a rhythm going to his offense as long as we don't give up that easy deep bomb hopefully we can make him work and 
right there. That was a wide open pass to Barry Sanders. I also don't know how we didn't get the sack. All around weirdness right there, but nonetheless, after that shut down the run, it's third down and eight, and Watson needs to find a way to get a first down. He won't even get the throw off. Ray Lewis sack and a fake punt going middle and overthrown by punter Tom Brady. As soon as I saw that Brady at punter, is that ball is swatted away. I was like, oh, this probably would be a fake. Ended up being a fake. Thankfully, you know, we got a little bit fortunate with the overthrow. I'm not too sure it would have been a first down, even if it was on target. Nonetheless, third down and inches after the Calvin catch, and this is not a smart play. Third and inches, you definitely just run the ball in that situation. Instead, we lose three yards, and now it's fourth down offense on the field. Barry, somehow, uh, like 5'9", or whatever Barry's height is, able to sneak his way in to get that first down. Next play, Watson, look at him go, trying to get the first. Can't take that hit. Can't feel like him. He took the big hit. He lost the ball right there. We play it smart, and we live to play another down. Dwight Clark flipped up at the one-yard line. A touchdown here gives us a two-possession lead. We want it, but we're shut down on first down. Second down, the pitch to Barry Sanders. Got the block, and Barry Sanders gets us up 17-7 to late in the third quarter. And now all of the pressure is on him. This is a do-or-die offensive draw for his Deshaun Watson as he throws it under the rest and Randy Moss swats it away of course this is man ultimate team so you got offensive players on defense defensive players on offense as that was a pretty fortunate grab right there on the sidelines and a little possession catch right there a little bit of play action this time around but that's not going to work too well and now I go to the fourth quarter Pretty much making sure that he doesn't get a touchdown here. If he gets a field goal, sure. He might not even go for the field goal. He might just go for it on fourth down. Just no touchdowns. That's all I'm really all about. Is he runs Wildcat. He runs Wildcat. Runs hurry up. Runs the Wildcat again. And runs hurry up again. And when you run hard about the Wildcat, you know the same exact play is coming up. So... If he wants to do that a bunch of times, go ahead. You'll just make your running back tired and you'll just waste some time on the clock. Now third down and five and finally calls a new play. It's Watson looking corner. Oh, nice break up by night train lane. No catch on the play. And on fourth down and five, he will go for the field goal. Interesting decision because we easily could go for it right there. Try to press the issue, get a touchdown. But he keeps his play alive by going with the safe play or keeps his game alive by going with the safe play. But now he's asking for a stop from his defense, needing a stop. From his defense and he only got three minutes left so we got some time to kill some clock but the one thing that could stop the clock is an incompletion that's his best friend Watson with his third incompletion in the game now we go back to the ground with Barry spinning and brought down at the 28 huge third down pitching it to S oh, Bo Jackson and Bo's got the first down Bo swerving and Bo Jackson is gone what a pivotal play in the game. We actually get down right here. I was going to try to, you know, chew a little bit of clock. We actually get tackled. I didn't mean to do that, but it's not the worst thing in the world because we have a chance to take away all this timeouts. If anything, just get a touchdown in the very next play, and we just wasted like 20 seconds before the two-minute warning. And we are going to get in the end zone this time actually score with our running back. At that point, I wasn't going to give it the touchdown. But right there, you know, any point made it a two-possession game, so it would not have been the worst thing to Take away his timeouts and really force the game to come down to an onside kick, but I actually wasn't trying to get tackled right there. I was just running sideways, and that guy came out of nowhere as minute 15 left. He's got to start taking deep shots. You got to complete them, though. And we have Calvin Johnson back there. You're not going to complete too many of those passes. Second down, a bunch of tight end angle at this point. Now he's desperate. Now he's just running, you know, wham, tight end angle. He's running all of these plays and nothing else. Game on the line here on fourth down and one. We'll see if he runs it. But once again, if you run it, the clock is not on your side. So you might just want to take a shot downfield. And he is passing with Watson. Well protected, but not making a good decision in the middle. Intercepted by Ray Lewis. And at this point in the game, he's going to rage quit. He's out of here. So we end up getting our victory. The one thing that's different about this video, you guys will notice it's 18 minutes long. We actually have two gameplays in this video. I figured I'd change it up. I had, you know, a couple of games plays saved up because I played a couple of games on this day. And I was like, you know what? Rather than putting up one of these games or two different videos of each game, let's just make one giant video. Um, we'll see how you guys feel about it. I asked everyone on Twitter, I was like, should I do one 9-minute video or two or one 18-minute video? I don't know if, like, this is too long for a Madden video, but... And we'll see. If you guys enjoy the format, if you guys are cool with the video being 18 minutes long, it's not too long to watch Madden, then I might do more of these in the future where I just play a couple of games and put, like, the best, you know, like, one or two in there for the video. And 
We'll, we'll see how that format works out. Third down to nine right here. I make sure the games were like close, not like seven to zero all the time. I try to get like the best games in there as he gets the completion and then some going downfield. One on one tackle made by Night Train Lane, but still a huge play on third down. What I thought. But was at least in position to make the tackle. We kind of just moonwalk for some reason. Second down and four. He's running with Barry. Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders with that never stumble trait. Comes very handy every once in a while when he can stumble over like five people. Which is what can happen at times. As that time Barry Sanders is shut down by Jadavion Clowney. Third down. He runs the pitch on the ground with Barry. And Barry somehow escapes and is in the end zone. First points of the day after that curious run by Barry Sanders. And he just proved to us that he will run the ball on third down and 10. And probably not too confident in his passing game. You're going to run a pitch like that on third down and 10. Then you're one of those guys as we go downfield for Randy Moss. Just tripped up by Jalen Ramsey. But a huge play to start the game on the ground or in the air. And that time we get sacked. Second down and 16. Finding Calvin. Oh, Megatron put his shoulder down. And he said lower man wins. And that time... The 6'5 guy actually got lower and won that battle, found his way into the end zone, and he just worked very hard to get his points. We went downfield in three plays, including one big-time bomb to Randy Moss right there. And once again, you can't press these guys. We got Calvin and Randy Moss. You can't press them because they will beat you downfield. So we'll see if he makes an adjustment next time. But I probably will as Barry continues to get handoffs. That's all this guy's doing. Not only is he handing it off, he is chewing clock as well as he's just able to get the contain and get the first down right there. He's got true clock on once again. He's kind of chewing the clock on himself at this point. You got to make sure you always give yourself a chance to get in the end zone for a touchdown rather than automatically settling for the field goal as Barry going to get that first down, but he continues to mill clock on himself up the middle. Barry is shut down, and he's not even calling his timeouts. He's content with letting this whole thing go down. Sanders first down, and Barry, oh man, he almost did it again. He almost escaped from the pack again, and now he's at the four-yard line. Maybe Maybe he's a genius. Maybe he knows clock management better than I do because he just runs the ball every single time. The good news is I know he's going to run the ball every single time. I know he's too scared to pass the ball. There's no way he passes the ball on third down. So we're just going to send the blitz and shut this, hopefully shut this running play down. Barry is so fast. He's able to get on the outside anyways, but we tackle him and we're able to make him settle for a field goal. And that's fine with me because we get ball coming out of half. We've only had one off of offensive possession and we scored on it. So... What we got to do is score again, and all that time-wasting he did with Barry Sanders is virtually a waste because we end up having a four-point lead, and he's going to be the one that has to push downfield, and it's TBD whether this guy can do anything besides run the ball with Barry Sanders. It's a pretty good strategy in this game. It just won't take you too far when your opponent scores. Of course, I'm saying all this, and we still have to score the points, and we still mostly don't know what kind of defense he runs because we... Have been on offense for four plays, including one at the end of the first half as we run a pitch to Barry. And Barry Sanders, just like what you saw on his play. Well, you never saw him fumble the ball, but you just saw he was so fast. He's able to get on the outside, even when a defender's nearby. Barry also can go up the middle. And so far, our running game looking pretty nice. Third down, though, we're going in the air, looking downfield. It's Randy Moss, and Moss has a step again. Ramsey is burnt, and Moss this time takes it all the way i mean I, I said he had to make an adjustment he just never made the smart adjustment which is to not press randy moss second down that's in her oh not intercepted brooks didn't get both feet in bounds third down and eight he's passing the ball does he have any reads on offense does this dude even know how to pass the ball oh Somehow that was almost completed. His guy didn't get both feet of bounce. What a throw by Mariota though. Fourth down and eight. He's keeping the offense on the field from his own 27-yard line. Mariota nowhere to go on that play. Looking for Irvin. Finds Jordan Hicks instead who swats the ball away. And now we are in prime position to make it a two-possession game. Running with Barry Sanders. Sanders outside and taking down all the way to the one-yard line. Pretty much a gimme at this point. Unless. Unless we run this pitch play. That's not a gimme. That's a what in the world are you doing? You think we would have learned our lesson from the last game on that third down and inches? Nope. Now, of a sudden, after that drop pass, it's third down and goal at the four yard line. Watson flushed out there. We run it. Draw play with Bo Jackson, but he is shut down. I believe that was Sean Taylor that came from the secondary and leveled him. 
So on a drive that we really should have gotten a touchdown out of, considering we were at the one-yard line, I mean, at least we got a field goal. We got points out of it, but it's a little bit of a what if. If this game goes on, he ties the game up all of a sudden. It's like, what if we had those extra points, you know? Second down and six. Now, all of a sudden, you know, he's down. He's got to force the issue. He's got to pass the ball. I mean, he can run it, but I mean, we're all in on the run game at this point. He's got to pass the ball because he will not be able to run the ball successfully. We'll see if he can make a play in the air. Oh, that's actually caught by Urban, but a risky play because Megatron was in the area. Barry's spinning, but the running game cannot be found in the second half for him. It's all up to Mario to open space to run, but he keeps it a second too long and sacked. He did not want to put his hands in the cookie jar. Probably a smart play. He gets to live to play another down. Third down and 15. Mario all the time in the world, but can't. Can he find anyone out of bounds? Doesn't even matter what happens here. Fourth down and 15. He's going for it from the 46-yard line. He's putting all his chips on the table. Now Mariota buying time. Waiting, waiting. Can he make a big play? Oh, yes, he can. Calvin Johnson first down. His first big play in the air was the biggest play of the game for him offensively. But in this situation, he has to get in the end zone. And once again, he has to pass the ball. I will not let him run this. I will not. I do not want him to run it. He can probably still run it in. I'm just not going to let him. We're going to make it hard on him. Now, third down, he runs it again. And now, fourth down and four. He is five wide. But Donald goes off sides. And now it's a fourth down and one. It's still fourth down. But this brings up an easy chance for him to run the ball for the first down. We got a little bit of an eye on that clock as he runs the pitch with Barry. But we were ready for it. I figured, hey, if he runs a pitch, I put Nitrate Lane on a blitz, and Nitrate Lane blitzing off the corner probably going to shut down a pitch. That's exactly what happened as we run the ball, and we're getting into a dangerous territory here. We don't want to get called for a safety third down and 15. We come out passing. He rushes four. We're just trying to keep it in bounds at this point and not fumble with Watson. We do everything as well as we possibly could have. Thankfully, we didn't fumble with Watson because that would have been disastrous. We take away his final timeout, and now this is the money drive. Down by seven. Pretty good field position right here, but no timeouts to work with, and he runs the ball to start the drive off. I don't know if he got the memo, but I will not let him run the ball. This dude had 100 yards rushing at halftime. He's run for like 10 rushes for seven yards since then. So now second down and five, minute left, passing with Mariota, looking nothing really open, buying time. Once again, though. Just gotta let that ball go at some point. You can't wait all day in the pocket. Now sends third down and ten. He sacked in bounds. He's running hurry up. That clock is tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And since he's running hurry up, he's probably gonna be running tight and angle. Not a play that he wants to run. We're gonna send some extra blitzes at him and make him uncomfortable. Mariota is sacked by Jadavian Clowney. And now the game is on the line on fourth and 18. He converted a fourth down earlier, but this time we're sending a bullet. He chucks it up. This save. Is out of bounds not even caught and he's gonna rage quit after that one and we come through with a close victory once again Deshaun Watson when we asked him to make throws downfield pretty good we played really good offense we just barely had any possessions and when we did for the most part we just bombed it to Randy Moss so that ends up being the two games leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe for more man 18 gameplays if you guys like this long 18 minute video thing let me know in the comment section and I'll try to bring you guys more of these longer videos rather than maybe shorter videos we'll see how that goes I'll catch you guys next time